the bongo cajon, steps one and two. Uh, step one, we're gonna dry fit all the frame pieces together, and then step two, we'll go ahead and glue it up. So uh, for these steps, you're gonna wanna gather all the frame pieces. You've got two long frame pieces, two short frame pieces, and a spacer piece. You're gonna want some glue, woodworking glue, and you're gonna want some masking tape, uh, a rag, wet rag, and if you're gonna clamp this up, have your clamps nearby. If you're gonna use a heavy weight uh, like I'm going to, you wanna have that handy. So the first thing you wanna do is dry fit this together, and, and really what you wanna make sure is you get these side frame pieces oriented correctly. Uh, because the sides taper in like this, there's an angle cut on the top and bottom of each of the frame pieces. So if you put it one way, it'll make a nice flat uh, joint up here. If you were to flip it around like this, um, you can see that it doesn't sit flush with the top. If you flip it 90 degrees, it's obviously not correct because it's too short. Um, so go ahead and, and try to line this one up and then you can line up the other one. Make sure everything looks nice there. Then your frame or your spacer piece also has to go in a specific way. This is correct. You see it fits in here nicely. If you were to flip it 90 degrees, uh, it overhangs here and we don't want that. So you want to make sure that it's going to go in like that. So we'll go ahead and finish dry fitting this all together. Get everything lined up. You're kind of practicing here for when you have glue. Make sure it's going to go the way you want. That looks pretty good. So that's step one, basically, getting everything dry fit. Now we're ready to put the glue on. So you'll just kind of take this apart. And if I take these side frame pieces and just set them down like that, I won't have to think about how they go when I put them back on with the glue. Make it a lot easier. So grab your glue, and we're going to just put uh, a bead of glue in each of these um, dado joints, dado cuts, there's six of them, three on each of the uh, long frame pieces. And I like the smell of woodworking glue. Do you like the smell of woodworking glue? Great, now we got the glue and all the dados. So now we're just gonna put these back in. And we're gonna wanna constantly be checking to make sure that these stay flush at the top of the instrument. Um, when, we, when we glue the top onto the, the frame, we want a nice level surface for that. And the better you can do in this stage, the, the more flush you can keep it in this stage, the less sanding you'll have to do next. And that's usually a desirable uh, goal. All right, now we've got everything together. And you just want to get all these pieces flush here. Make sure the uh, sides are in in tight all the way and then you can go ahead and um, put some tape on and we'll just put um, a couple pieces of tape around each corner Now we're going to carefully flip this over. And put some tape on these two corners. Recheck all these tops, make sure they're flush. And when 
everything looks good. Uh, when the glue is still wet like this, these pieces, it's real easy for them to slide around. When everything looks good, go ahead and take your heavy weight, set it on the top, and let that dry for at least a half an hour, and, and then we'll come back and glue the top on.